gonna round up that Rob Hood and hog tie his fancy Miss Nancy. <laughs> he made a getaway. He left me flat away. At times like this, a modern miss should gallop that way. When love goes this way, don't blow your bliss away. You might find out he's just about a hug and kiss away. Yeah. Well, 
Georgia now, it's dynamic and uplifting, leaving the audience chipping at the bit for act two. And this set, I mean, who doesn't love Red? Yes, and as long as we're on position, I want to set the pose for the act one cut. Oh, uh, sorry, 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 but if I may, uh, I've had a chance to speak with all of you, and you all seem like a terrific bunch of people. However, I'm afraid that this briefcase contains some very compromising evidence that I've turned up about one of you. Now, I don't want to point any fingers, but I have some additional questions uh, from the person... There's an urgent call from headquarters. Oh, shoot. Uh, Mr. Belling, just go on with what you were doing. All right, so as I was saying, I want to set the pose for the Act 1 curtain. So if you'll all just remain where you are... <laughs> Lights! <laughs> As I thought. <laughs> Looks like everyone here but Nikki has something to hide. There's nothing in the briefcase, by the way. Just a container of chowder from the Union Oyster House. Is it Manhattan? Oh, yeah, here you go. Watch on me, boys. So, I questioned all of you, made a few phone calls, and what do I come up with? A murder victim named Jessica Cranshaw who was working for a fraction of her usual firm salary. A distinguished director who despised the late Miss Cranshaw, but slaves to make this show work all the same. A dancer choreographer who turns down the chance to work with Balanchine to do a song and dance for spare change. Ex-partners in marriage and in music who inexplicably reunite though they no longer work in harmony. A one-man bank named Oscar Shapiro, who despite having no prior interest in theater, suddenly sinks one payment after the next into this musical and a company who, who rejoices when, when their show is torn to ribbons by the critics because this means that they're at long last free to take better jobs back on Broadway. Now what does this all tell me? That Sid Bernstein has been blackmailing every member of this show into working for him. Even you dancers? But what about you chorus boys? I mean, you all seem like a bunch of clean-cut fellows. What could you possibly have done that you wouldn't want the folks back home to know about? <laughs> I have to think that most people have to think about themselves. They would like to keep to themselves. Oh, agreed. But I'm not here to uncover all of your dark secrets. Just the one that led someone to murder Miss Jessica Cranshaw. People. I had no idea this is how Cindy got all of you to work so cheap. He's the one who handles all the negotiations. Well, he won't be able to deal his way out of breaking the law. Ladies and gentlemen, you won't be blackmailed anymore. Oh. But you're still all murder suspects, so... <laughs> now let's get back to work. You may have joined this show for the wrong reasons, but you are going to press on because you have a contract. Damn straight. And because Oscar deserves a return on his investment. Thank you. And because the best way for me to solve this crime is to keep the heat turned up in this pressure cooker of a theater. And lastly, because this could be a really good show! <laughs> Take this. Alright, so I want to set the pose for the Act 1 crowd. Uh, heads up, we're clearing your set. What? No, Johnny, I still get to... Alright, never mind. John, uh, Bobby, last five bosses. A five, six, seven, eight. I'm heading. 